Today I'm reading Hibernation. Hibernation. Food is scarce. 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 Many places have cold winters. Some animals in these places have trouble finding food in the winter. Food is scarce during this time. And some animals migrate to warmer places to find food and return in the spring. Other animals hibernate to survive in the winter months. A deer eats bark. Wait, do you know what a deer is? I think that you know. But if you know what bark is, then it's part of a tree. Mm-hmm. It's like the tree skin, though. But what is hibernating? Hibernating um, is very um, is like a very sound sleep. Not even loud noises can and can wake up the animals hibernating. Wake up hibernating animals. Sleep for days or weeks. Breaths. Breathe slow, very slowly. Their hearts beat slow. At a time. Hibernating animals breathe. Breathe slow, very slowly. Their hearts beat slower than are using little energy. And they do not eat. So, what do they do? If you know, then great. They sleep. They and sleep. They don't eat. Hedgehogs must gain weight to hibernate. Yeah, but do you know what they do in the whole winter? What? Sleep. Sleep. Would you like that? No! I'll be starving! Well, because they're sleeping. Are you hungry when you're sleeping? Yeah. I would be starving because you have to stay there for weeks. And you don't even eat food. You don't even eat food. Maybe months too, but it's the whole winter. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, I can read those or no? Groundhogs are warm-blooded animals, and snakes are cold-blooded animals. If you know what warm-blooded and cold blood, just great. When warm-blooded animals hibernate, its body's temperature drops until it's almost as cold as the temperature outside. A cold-blooded animal's body's temperatures always ma matches the temperature outside. When a cold-blooded animal gets too cold, it hibernates. Okay. Okay. Um, do you know what that is? I think it's a raccoon. Yep, and he's collecting food. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Is that a snake pit? Some snakes hibernate together. And that one? It says, raccoons collect food. How do they stay alive? Hibernating animals eat lots, lots of food. Um, let me think. Are you finishing that oh, sentence? Yeah. Before winter, they store food in their bodies as fast. Their bodies live off this fat, fat, okay, Fat while they sleep. It takes very little energy to keep hibernating animals alive. I'm not sure what that means. But let's think. They don't need much energy. Like you need energy yeah. to do all your sports and um, play games and do all these things. And reading too. And yeah, you're using energy. And so um, they don't need as much energy because all they do is sleep. Mm -hmm. And also they store food in their bodies. Mm -hmm. So they keep food in their bodies so they can sleep. That that would make me a little more protective, but I would still be hungry. Okay. Well, let's we'll start. Where do, our, where do animals hibernate? Hibernate animals also need a sta safe place to sleep. <laughs> Sorry. They need to be far of, um, away from cold and hidden from hungry predators some animals like bats hibernate in caves so do you know that they live in hi the hibernating caves too snakes i think that they said that no they said bats do oh but 
if you know what that one says, then good. A frog, that turtle, one. and a snake burrow. What's a snake burrow? It's where... See how they went underground? Um, okay. Wait, do you also know what that is? It says a black bear is safe in its den. Mm -hmm, because black bears are good. Hibernating snakes sleep underground in burrows. Frogs and turtles sleep in mud at the turn at the bottom of pounds. Some mice bottom pounds ponds ponds. Ne some mice hibernated in the winter. Next, some animals like squirrels store food where they hibernate. So when they wake up, they have food. Whoops, sorry, sorry, sorry. My mom just dropped the phone. But um, but they store food in their house. So when they wake up, they'll be starving. So they have some food. Okay. Isn't that like cool? But but many people think of bears when they think of hibernating. But a bear is not really a hibernating animal. A bear often wakes up and moves around in the winter also bear, a bear's body's temperature doesn't get as cold as the other warm-blooded hibernating animals that bear sleeps it is um called a torpor as torpor is a deep sleep but not as deep as hibernation that's good we that's something new to learn a bear's den is just big enough for the bear. Mm -hmm. It's like super big. Bigger? Not not super big. It's just about yeah. the size of it. It's maybe a big, like as big as a small trampoline. I have one of those small trampolines, maybe. Okay, let's keep reading. Let's see. Like, wait, did we read that? No. Okay. Um, like a hibernating animal, tough. Though. Though. A bear prepares a place to sleep for winter. It fills its winter den with leaves tr and trees and branches. B trees, branches. This this bed helps keep the bear's body's heat while it sleeps. Layers of snow on it on the den also keeps the heat inside this helps to keep the bear warm so do you know how they keep warm if you've been listening then you know if you have not been listening then you don't know but how what what if they use like maybe some bark as a you know, well they blanket. said branches they're using yeah, yeah why not they right use here. bark i don't know so over here many kinds of animals or insects hibernate too do you know what those are? Don't tell them, Mom. Because they have to guess, and we'll tell them at the end of the story, maybe. Okay. Like birds, some some butterflies fly to warm areas in the winter, but many insects, um, many insects, they need to a safe, warm place to sleep, just like other hibernating animals. Some hibernating um, in holes, some hibernate in holes in the ground, some hibernate under tree bark. Some insects, like many ladybugs, hibernate in buildings, including ha a house, like including the houses. Wait, I'm gonna show you something. Do you know what those are now? If you do, those are ladybugs. Do you see those like little spots? I wonder if they're hibernating in our house. Oh, they were. Um, I saw a ladybug in my room today. Oh, cool. Really? And when we were leaving, I put it back outside. Right. Who's so we have the Gila monster and we have badgers or warm blooded animals. I have about Gila monsters in Spanish. I don't think I don't think we like put it on YouTube though. Okay. But maybe I did. But who's hibernating? Warm blooded animals like um groundhogs chipmunks and prairie 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 dogs hibernate cold-blooded animals like snakes frogs turtles insects and lizards burr and hibernate very good okay 
Do you know what that is? It says a prairie dog wakes up. Mm -hmm, that's a prairie dog. I think I saw one. They um, live by Aunt Jen. Yeah. They um, live in the fields by Aunt Jen. Yeah, but if you don't know who Aunt Jen is, it's my aunt. And, and her name is Jen. Okay. She lives in Colorado. Yeah. Okay, let's keep reading. Okay. Um, where were we? the beginning of this one okay. some animals like bats some squirrels and some mice hibernate all winter long some animals wake up to eat as bears do raccoons bear badgers, badgers and skunks might wake up to eat on a warm winter day in the spring all um all the hibernating animals wake up but do you know where where raccoons, I think, sleep? I think that they sleep in a dump. Mm. And their blanket is garbage. That's pretty gross. But what if they were? We wanted to share them something. But if you didn't understand some words, we're going to show you. Just have to skip the book, my mom. But if you want, you can read them the glossary, mom. Can yeah. you? Okay, maybe... So we have burrows, which are holes in the ground dug by animals. Migrate means to move from one place to another, usually to eat or breed. Breed is when you're making babies. Predators are animals that hunt other animals. Scarce is when it's something's hard to find. Sound is deep, undisturbed, because they're talking about the sound sleep. I like, think that you know what sound means. Though. Well, sound is there's a few meanings of sound. And survive means to stay alive, and torpor means a deep sleep when body functions slow down, but not as deep as hibernating like the bears do. Okay, I also wanted to show you if you, I think that you want to learn this maybe. If you wanted to learn more, this is called the index, so we can go back, um, and this is really good if we're having questions on our story, so we know where to go back to find the answers for things. I'll so read it these to you. are great text features. I want to read it to you. Body temperature 6, burrow 9, caves 8, cold-blooded animals 613. Um, six, page 6 and page 13. Yeah, those are like, yeah. Okay, so all it is is Food, just telling you. Yeah, yeah, you can maybe read it. Read it by yourself if you know how to read it. And you it. can go back and look. Or you can ask your mom or dad to read it. But bye. Bye. See you later.